Hello Year 12s. Last video I mentioned that there were often random fluctuations within time series data. And today we're looking at ways to smooth out those random fluctuations. And we do it using the mean. There are two methods of smoothing out fluctuations, one mean, one median. This video is on mean smoothing. Now, in general, you need to know how to be able to do this by hand. As in the exam, it's quite common for them, for them to ask you to fill in a blank or where they've missed it. However, you also need to know how to do it in your calculator and to large amounts of data, because in a SAC, it would be quite possible for us to ask you to smooth out a large portion of data. So I'm gonna show you how to do it by hand and give you an understanding of it, and then also in this calculator. Now, here we have a data set. This is the one we'll be using for today. I've just made it up. It is time in months and average temperature. If you put it in your calculator, and draw a graph of it, it looks like that. So there is some noise, it goes up and down. We can't really see what exactly is happening. I could have made that more random if I want. They're just examples to show you how to smooth out the data. So what we do is we go to here, three mean smoothing. This is the most basic type of smoothing. What it does is that we replace each data value with that value and its values immediate neighbors and as a mean. So here, we're going to leave time one alone because it has no neighbors. Well, it has no neighbor to one side. So we ignore it. But here, for us, so we'll go three mean. We're going to look at two. Now two, we take the values surrounding two and including two. We're taking the mean of these three. So to take the mean of these three, we do 10 plus 14 plus 15 divided by 3, which is 39 divided by 3 is 13. And then for 3, we take 14, 15, 17. 14, 15, 17, 46. 46 divided by 3 is 15 and a third. Then we take the next three. Don't know why that came out of the back. Add them together, divide them by 3. Now what this means is perhaps more obvious on the CAS. So on the CAS, if we want to do time series data, we have time here, months, average temperature, and then three mean smoothing. Now here, we don't have anything because it's got no neighbors, but this one is equal to the sum of this cell plus B2 plus B3, all divided by three. So this here gets us that 13. And then if we click and drag, or for you, it's press and hold and drag. It's really hard to describe. 46 on three, and so on down. And note, we don't go to here. And I just changed my funk mo mode to make sure that it was in decimals. All right, so given this, we can go back to our plot that we had before. And I want to menu, add a Y variable. It's plot properties, add Y variable. And I'm gonna go three mean smoothing. All right. Now the original data points, the blue ones, were our original data. That is average temperature. Going up and down quite extremely. Now note the three mean has taken the average and smoothed it out. We have a much smoother curve. If there was a pattern, we could see it much more smoothly. Right. Now, three means easy enough. Five mean, you take the two immediate neighbors each side of the data value. So here, we don't just take, we start here, we focus on this one, on the three, and we take the average of those five data points. So if we take the average of those five data points, 
we can add them all together and divide by 5. Give me one second to do it. We get 13.8. Where my cursor is. Then we take the next five. So we take this five, and that will give us the value that goes here. Let me find the average for them. We then take the next five and gives us the value that goes there. I'll delete that one because it looks crazy. All right. And once again, we can do this in our CAS. So here, we ignore that. We ignore that, and we start here with equals. Then we want the first five values, so B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5. Close bracket, divided by, close bracket, divided by 5. 13.8. And note, as we drag down, what happens is all of these here, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 are increased by 1, so it applies the next 5 down. Now note, what's happened here is our top two data points are not included, and our bottom two are not included. So let's have a look at what this looks like on the graph. If we go menu, plot properties, add a Y variable, we can add our five mean smoothing. Our five mean smoothing are those blue triangles. And you can see while the others have gone up and down showing seasonality, five mean smoothing has basically flattened out. What this tells us is that over the year, there's been no increasing trend or decreasing trend. It's just smoothed out the rand or the seasonality from the year. Note that every time we increase the number of means we use, so we could use seven, for example, we decrease the accuracy or we decrease the precision of what we can see. So previously we could see every change for each month. Then with three means, we could only see really the changes if they were dramatically over three months, hence the orange curve. With five means, it really did average it out. And if, yes, if over several years, the trend looked like that, then five mean would give it to us and ignoring all the jig jags. So the more means you use, the better it is for showing a longer term trend, but you tend to lose your seasonal cycles in there. All right. Now note that we only looked at really there three, five and seven mean smoothing. I'm gonna do another video now because this one's going on a while, looking at even numbers of mean smoothing, two, four, six, et cetera. They all basically do the same thing and frustratingly enough, we have to know what they all are. All right, so that's three, five, and you could extend it out to seven if you'd like. 